Hey everyone, pretty recently we here at Tumblet Monster have released a massive update for one of our flagship themes, Monstroid 2. Now it is all-in-one element WordPress theme, going with a modular constructor that we will be talking about in this video. So now let me tell you more about the modular constructor itself and show you how to work with it. Now let's head over to Elementor Editor. And here on an Elementor canvas I will show you how the modular constructor works. And now you can see here that previously where you had only two buttons, you have one more saying magic button. The great thing about the modular constructor is that it allows you to use any page and any section from any of the skins available in Monstroid 2. And you do not have to install a skin anymore to have access to a pages, sections, modules and widgets that are available in that skin. Because all of that is gathered in here in a magic button. So as I have said, Element was released with over 20 skins and one more skin will be added every single week. And for now, there is over 800 sections available and also the sections will be updated constantly. All the new sections and pages will be appearing in your modular constructor. The navigation is convenient and easy to follow. On your left sidebar, you have the filter by the type of the page or the section. Here at the top, you can filter by topic. Like if you choose business, it will show you the pages related to the business topic. Here you have a collection of headers that you can apply to your pages and that can also be filtered by topic. And with the footers, it works just the same way. But let's start with the header and try and create a business page with the help of the modular constructor. So you simply choose the header you like, you press insert and now it is applied to our page. Then let's go to the sections. We'll search for business and we will go with this section for our heading section, like so. Under the slider, I want the services section to appear. Let's go to sections again, filter them by business topic. And here on the left sidebar, let's find services. Here you see the sections that are on the business topic and you press insert on the one that you like. And here you see the section appearing on the page right away. Maybe let's try with the about section. It is easy to combine the sections that are matching with the style, the colors, etc. But it is also possible to combine the sections with completely different style and design because you can easily customize them, change the typography, the color scheme, etc. To show you how it works, let me add a section which style is not matching with the style of the other sections I have added before. But you can easily change the style of this new section. This can be done with the help of the right click that Elementor has recently introduced. You can simply copy the style of the element and paste it on the another element. Now we will copy the style from the heading from the previous section and paste the style on the heading from the new section. Like so, you can see it is done in a couple clicks and now our heading looks just the same way as the heading from the previous section. Now this section seems to be kind of overlapping the previous one, so we will remove this margin. Now we have some custom styles here. Let's just remove this code and center the heading. Now what we need to do is to change the color of the overlay on these images. So let's just sample the color from the heading. Because I want the overlay to be this exact color. And I'll click on the module with the image, go to overlay. 
and change the color to the one that I have sampled from the heading. Here it goes, and now we can use the right click again, copy the style from this module and paste it on the next module. Like so, pretty easy and fast. Now we have some parallax effect going on at the background of the section. So let's go to the section settings, find Jet Parallax tab and just remove all the parallax elements that are appearing at the back of our section. Like that. And now you know how to match the style of the section from some other skin to the style of the sections from other skins. Now let's wrap up our brief page creation with a nice footer. Let's go to the magic button again. Go to the footer section, search for business, and insert this footer. So now when you have seen how to work with a modular constructor within Monstroid 2, I want to show you where you can get even more sections and pages for your modular constructor. It is possible to get entire pages and sections on Elementor Marketplace that can be fully edited and customized right in Elementor Editor in Modular Constructor of Monstory 2. And once you click on the template you want to get, you'll see the characteristics of this template, like how many pages it has and what sections it has. Let's say you want to get this template. And once you download it, you'll have an archive and you have to unzip this archive. And now let's go back to Elementor Editor and I will show you how to import the JSON files here in the modular constructor. So we'll need to go to My Templates. Press import and you can either select a file in your explorer or you can simply drag a JSON file over here and it will import the template right in your my template section. So here we go, we can either preview or press insert. Let's insert it on our page. And you can see that all the sections are fully editable, you can click on any module and change its look and other settings. And I believe that's pretty much it of this overview of the modular constructor that goes within Monstroy 2 update. If you have some more questions, you can go to our 24-7 live chat or check out our detailed documentation that goes with Monstroy 2. So thank you for watching, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and don't forget to check the link to Monstroid 2 in the description down below.